Finding the right pouching system that works for you and learning how to correctly use it is important. In a two-piece pouching system, the skin barrier is separate from the pouch, so they are in two pieces. These two pieces are connected by a flange, one on the pouch and one on the skin barrier. These flanges must be the same size and type to fit securely together. Let's review how you would change a two-piece pouch. First, you'll want to get your supplies ready. You will need the following items to prepare your new pouch and put it on. A stoma sizing guide, unless you are using a pre-sized pouching system. A pen and a pair of scissors for marking and then cutting the skin barrier to the proper size if you are using a cut-to-fit skin barrier. Your new skin barrier. Your new pouch and a disposal bag for your used pouch. You will also need water and some tissues or paper towels for washing and drying your skin. If you are using ostomy accessories with your pouch, you will need to get those out and ready at this time. It is best to change your pouch on a routine basis. This can vary from person to person, but you want to change it before it leaks. For many people, this may be every three to four days if you are using a drainable pouch. If you are using a closed pouch, you will change it more often, once or twice a day. The best time of day to change a pouch is in the morning, before you have anything to eat or drink. After you've assembled all your supplies, you're ready to prepare your new pouching system. If you are using a cut-to-fit skin barrier, Draw the pattern of your stoma onto the backing of the skin barrier. Cut the opening to the size you traced. Scissors with a curved blade generally work best. After you have cut the opening, you may want to smooth the inside edge of the skin barrier with your fingertip. If you are using a pouch with a tape border, begin by removing the backing from the skin barrier. Leave the rest of the backing for now. Now is also a good time to close your drainable pouch. If you are using a pouch that has an integrated closure like lock and roll, close it now. If you are using a pouch clamp, apply that now. If you are using a skin barrier without tape, you will remove the backing all at once. Simply hold the tab, then pull it away from the skin barrier in a single step. If you are using a cut to fit skin barrier, save the backing paper to use as a pattern for cutting your skin barriers to the proper size. If your stoma is still changing size, date your pattern and throw away old patterns that no longer fit your stoma. If you are using a pre-sized opening, just peel off the backing paper as already described. Set aside with the adhesive facing up. Now it's time to remove your used pouch. It's easiest to empty your pouch before you remove it. When taking your pouch off, carefully lift an edge of the adhesive and peel downward, gently pushing the skin away from the skin barrier. you can use one of the convenient disposal bags included in every box of pouches. These bags allow discreet disposal of used pouches. Properly dispose of your used pouch. If you are using a pouch clamp, remove it before you throw away the used pouch. The pouch clamp can be reused. Clean your skin with water and, if needed, a gentle soap. Do not use oils, powder, lotion, or lotion-type soaps on the skin. 
Rinse and dry your skin thoroughly. Skin gel and other prep wipes are not recommended if you are using an ostomy pouching system with an extended wear skin barrier. Using wipes can reduce the wear time of the extended wear skin barrier. Finally, center the skin barrier opening over the stoma in a diamond shape. Gently press the barrier to ensure it makes good contact with your skin. For tape bordered barriers, remove the backing paper of both sides and press the adhesive against your skin. Attach the pouch to the skin barrier by engaging the lower edges of the pouch flange and the skin barrier flange. Press the two flanges together. A series of clicks will confirm you are doing it correctly. No more clicks means the pouch is secured. Press the pouch and barrier against the skin. Hold for about one minute. Heat and pressure help to activate the adhesive. Keep an emergency kit of the things you will need to change your pouch if you are away from home. Your pouching system is designed to be secure. This will greatly increase your comfort and confidence.